Hey everyone, it's John Pemphy here and I recently recorded another training that I want to share with you right now about how you can connect with your most ideal customers on a much deeper level. If you can understand their pains and their desires, you can connect with them on, with a better message, in turn get more customers, and get some more of that moolah for your business. Let's roll into that clip now. Hey everyone, it's John Pemothy here and welcome to this video. Listen, if you are looking to attract more of your ideal customers and actually have them engage with your services, your product, your brand, whatever it is you're looking to sell and effectively convert more sales in your business, you need to know what I'm about to teach you in this free mini lesson. There's nothing for sale. This all came about because I was having a conversation with my friend the other day. He's a photographer. Right, and he was saying, John, I'm trying everything with Facebook ads to attract new customers. And he's been doing these different you know, sales, like a 50% off sale or a free engagement shoot, yeah, in the hopes that they'll, that'll circle back and there'll be some word of mouth spread or his ad will spread or he'll generate some customers and fresh business from that. And it wasn't working. And he was saying, John, can you help me? What's going wrong here? And I said, listen, the key piece that you're missing is you're not emotionally compelling your audience and you're not emotionally connecting with your audience. When you do a 50% off sale, when you just talk about the facts of your business, when you just talk about the features of your business, that doesn't, that doesn't compel people into action, right? That's the kind of ad that you can just scroll past Facebook or a video you'll scroll past on YouTube, right? That doesn't, that doesn't excite people just to hear the facts of your business. What actually gets people moving and taking them from indecisive to making a decision is if they feel like not only they know you like you and trust you, you and your brand, right, or the products you're suggesting, but it's actually feeling emotionally compelled to do something and to make a change, right? Now you can apply this to anything that you are selling, right? Just to encourage you, it doesn't matter if you're selling your own products, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're a local business, it doesn't matter if you do e-commerce, it still works for e-commerce, still works for affiliate marketers, whatever you're doing, okay, you need to know what I'm about to draw out for you right now. I'm actually gonna show you an exercise Size that is going to be super, like I was gonna say super duper, sounds lame, doesn't it? I'm gonna show you something that's gonna be very, very helpful for you inside of your business, and you're gonna be able to use this every single day in every piece of marketing that you put out there. And it's so simple, it's this, right? I want you to take pen to paper and draw this out with me. I want you to draw one big line down the middle of an A4 sheet of paper, and I want you to draw another line across the top like this, okay? It doesn't matter what industry you're in, there are two things that your customers or your ideal customers have, and that is desired outcomes. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Desired outcomes, okay? And then the second thing they have is pain points, okay? Pain points, let me give you some examples, okay? If someone is, uh, let, let's say your business is all about health and fitness, right? Helping people lose weight. You've got to think about what are the desired outcomes that those people want. And the more specific you can get on the desi those desired outcomes, the more effective your marketing will be. So if people are just looking to lose weight, if you just have a desired outcome and you just talk about in your marketing just the idea of losing weight, well, that's a very generic umbrella term. Right? It's not really compelling people. They hear that term all throughout the day. So you need to think, what other desired outcomes could I, could I um, use in my marketing? Right? You've got to, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a moment, okay, pause this video or do this afterwards, and I'm telling you, this will be one of the most profitable and valuable exercises you ever do. Sit down for an hour, one hour, and I want you to fill this column up with all the possible desired outcomes that your potential customers and ideal customers have. So again, let's do weight loss, right? They're not just looking to lose weight. What are they looking to do? They're looking to feel more confident, right? They're looking to be able to meet that guy or that girl that they've been wanting to meet and their insecurities have stopped them from doing that, right? Their, their, their desire is to be able to run further or run faster, right? That's another desire. You need to think about what are all of the possible des desired outcomes that they could possibly have and then you need to use those in your marketing in your headlines in the videos like this you know for example i wouldn't start a, a video showing someone how to lose weight i wouldn't start it by saying hey welcome to this video in this video i want to show you how to how to lose weight i've got a great system that's going to show you how to do it it's wonderful right they hear that all the time what you need to do is be able to link this in to your videos and your marketing by saying something like 
Hey, listen, thanks so much for checking out this video. I appreciate you being here. Chances are you're, you're looking to be able to achieve this. Maybe you're feeling like this right now and you wish you felt like this and you're starting to literally list list all of the desired outcomes that they have. So the more you list them, the more you tell them the desired outcomes, the more they're going, whoa, this person knows me. I feel like I need to keep coming closer and closer to this person's marketing, this person's brand, this person's product, because all the things they're listing is literally hitting me and, I'm, and that is resonating with me and drawing me closer to taking action with them, okay? Now here's the kicker. You've got the other side, which is pain points, right? Alongside desired outcomes, people always have pain points. They're pain points that either stop them from taking action because something's too painful, or they've got pain points that actually is the thing that is spurring them on to be able to change, okay? If someone is looking to lose weight and they haven't done that yet, okay, they've still got reasons why they wanted to, but their why just isn't big enough yet. So the more you can, you can hit on the pain points and remind them of the reasons they wanted change, then the closer they're gonna get to taking action with you. So for example, pain points, I want you to also take a moment and list out as many as you can. You'll find that sometimes the pain point will be the opposite of the desired outcome, okay? So a pain point for someone who, again, um, you know, is looking to get in shape and get fit, a pain point might be getting out of breath, you know, climbing a, you know, a set of stairs, okay? It might be a pain point is feeling unconfident, right? It might be looking around and seeing their, their friends, you know, getting all the dates and they, they, you know, and they haven't been able to get, and they feel like that is because of, you know, not making that change yet in their life. You see what I mean? There are pain points. You need to get as specific as you can. Okay, I'll give you some examples from my world. I teach marketing, I teach entrepreneurs, business owners how to get results in their business. Desired outcomes, let's just use Facebook ads for example. A desired outcome would be to be able to run a successful, effective and profitable Facebook ad. The pain point would be without losing a ton of money or risking their own money because that's a pain point. That's something that keeps people from not taking action on running Facebook ads because there's a fear of losing money. So that's an example of a pain point that's holding someone back and if I can obliterate that pain point, then they will move forward with me, right? Another pain point might be something that is driving them to change and I need to remind them of that, right? So the pain point might be, uh, you know, working, currently working for a boss. Their business has not taken, you know, off enough yet to where they can do it by themselves. So I would remind them of that pain point. Hey, chances are you are looking to be able to fire your boss, work for yourself, and Facebook ads can do that for you. So I've reminded them of that pain point. Now I'm drawing them closer, you see? So I'm telling you, do this because it will be so effective in your marketing. Write this down on an A4 sheet of paper. Spend an hour. I challenge you to get to a second page, a second page of A4. Write down as many desired outcomes. Go as deep as you possibly can, okay, in the possible desired outcomes, all of them, that your industry or your ideal customers potentially have and write them all down on a spreadsheet. Same with pain points. What are all of the potential pain points that your audience would have? Write them down and let this fuel your marketing. Headlines, right? Headlines on capture pages, include these right? Bullet points in your webinars, bullet points on your catch pages, include these. Facebook ads, include these. YouTube videos, include these. Sales videos, include these, okay? And in so doing, you'll be able to emotionally connect with your audience and you'll be able to lead them to the sale more effectively. Okay, does that make sense? I'll give you one more example before we end this lesson, which is just some of the examples I gave to my photographer friend, right? I guess he was saying, well, what, what are some of these for my audience? And off the top of my head, I said, look, one of them is and the desired outcome, okay, is to find a, you know, a photographer for their wedding, okay? So you'd run a Facebook ad targeting engaged women, most likely, because as myself and Jabril, my business partner, always joke about, right? It's the women making decisions in the wedding, right? So they're looking for a photographer. That's the, that's the overall desired outcome, okay? But that's not something that is gonna compel them because we already know they're looking for a photographer. That's, that's common knowledge. So, excuse me, so what are the other more specific desired outcomes? Well, they're looking for someone who, you know, is able to save them time. When you're planning a wedding, time is limited, right? There's, a, there's not enough time in the day planning all the stuff you need to do. So you need to save time. So if you had a photographer that was showing you in the way that they're writing or speaking, that they know how to save you time in the process leading up to the wedding, the preparation for the photos, and on the day, that's gonna be a desired outcome. Another one is, a big one, is someone who understands the day and how it runs and the right photos to get, because that leads to a pain point. 
A pain point for a bride who's about to get married and looking for a photographer, a pain point might be get, you know, uh, deciding on a photographer and it turned out that on the day they missed a couple of the most important photos. That would be a pain point, right? Imagine if they missed the photos of you walking down the aisle or you missed the photos of the speech or one of the particular speeches. That would be a nightmare. So that's a pain point. So if you can feed that into your, your video, say, hey, listen, chances are you're watching this ad or this video because you are currently engaged, so congratulations, and you're looking for a photographer, but not just any photographer. You're looking for someone who understands the day, understands the photos to get at the right time, understands to keep out of the way and be discreet in the photos you're getting. Someone who is gonna save you time. And you're listing all of the desired outcomes and pain points, and in so doing, they will go, whoa, this person understands me, this person gets me, I'm connecting with them, or I'm getting closer to working with them over the you know, competition, who are just saying, 50% off photos, right? Or free engagement shoot. Well, great, free engagement shoot, but I don't even know if I want you to be the person shooting it, right? because I don't want to waste any time. So you need to emotionally compel them and emotionally connect with them. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough, but I get passionate about this stuff because I use this every day in my business and it's you have to learn this and you have to understand it does not matter what business you have. I'm sure there's a couple of exceptions, right? But in, you know, in the long haul, there are, it doesn't matter what business you have, what services you sell, what products you sell. If you do affiliate marketing, but offline business, anyone can incorporate this into the way that you market and promote yourself, your business and your brand. And I think it will really help you. So do that exercise. Hey, so hopefully that was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button below this video. Leave me a comment. I love reading through those. And then also hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the bell notifications. I'm putting on a couple of new videos onto this channel every single week and I think you'll really, really love them. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff and how you can attract more customers into your business by using very simple online advertisements, specifically right here on YouTube, they work very, very well. And I've got an in-depth training that's gonna walk you through how to do it for your business, all right? So there's a link in the description box and the top comment that'll take you to that training. I recommend you sign up for it. I think you'll really, really like it. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you in a future video.